We've got Gallup, Washington Post, ABC poll, NPR Marist Congresswoman, Biden is plunging. His numbers are so bad, he's so underwater, it's like he's swimming with a raincoat. Inflation is at a 40-year 40 40 high, and a growing number of, of uh, cities, it's, it's at 10 percent, Congresswoman. Well, of course. I mean, people are seeing this firsthand. Nobody is, is getting out of this without having to pay more. I mean, when they're looking at how much they're paying at the grocery store, when they look at how much they're paying in restaurants, and then look at how much they're paying at the gas station, everybody is having to pay more. And they have been hearing now for over a year that if the Biden administration puts this policy into place, this is going to be the reaction. The Biden policy is completely ignored fact, completely ignored results, and completely ignored pragmatism has moved ahead with this agenda, which has been horrendous for the American people, even worse for working families. And yeah, everybody has caught up and, and, and realized that these policies in place are being done on purpose. This Biden administration has been warned that this would happen, right. and they did it anyway. Well, let's stay on that. Liz, to what the Congresswoman just said, New York Times reporters with their new book. That is a of monetary approval rating. We're going to put on a center. Watch. Gas is up. Doing that. Oh, this is an, an aberration. You know, it's not a good look. 22 election come November the mid -term. Well, please be careful leaving tonight. We all know this administration doesn't handle evacuations well. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Just got the latest numbers showing that it, that it could dip slightly. Is this going to have any effect on the 2022 election come November the mid -term? Well, the, uh, I think this is an aberration. There are plenty other statistics and and analysis that have said oh, this is a, an, an aberration. You know, it's not a good look to be laughing at inflation when families are literally choosing between buying more food or gas and people are losing their businesses like restaurants and more. And for Nancy Pelosi to say this is an aberration, Congresswoman, they're signing a slowdown in government spending and a decline in net exports. We've seen that in the past. It's not an aberration. It's come through in numerous reports every quarter in the past. It's happening because Democrats push for those shutdowns and, as Liz Peake points out, ram spending into the system. Your thoughts on the White House Correspondents Center and Nancy Pelosi? Well, I think, you know, quite honestly, Trevor Noah needs to come over to my office and get some of the phone calls from my constituents who are right now heartbroken that they are exactly what you said, having to decide between putting food on their table and putting gas in their tank to be able to get to work. These are, this is not a funny, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that the, that the elitists who are making so much money that it's really not a big deal that men can afford it. But for most people, for most American families, that is not the case. And as far as Nancy Pelosi is concerned, this is not an aberration. They were warned that this was going to happen. It's been happening now for two years. They're doing everything which would be the exact opposite of common sense to be able to stop it. As Liz mentioned, they are throwing, you know, trillions of dollars more into the system. Of course, that's going to cause inflation. And every single time Nancy Pelosi has had the gavel, we've gone into a recession. I mean, just think about that. And we're about to go into another one, and she's got the, she's got the gavel, yeah, which is why I'm looking forward to November taking it away from her. Liz, what do you think of that?